It's a bag of dildos. A brain. Hey, James. Oh yeah, hard and smooth. My smooth brain. My smooth baby brain in this is in this bag. <laughs> good to see you too. Hope you had a good. Hope you had some good relaxing holiday days. Tomorrow's trial. Uh, what's going to happen in the trial tomorrow? That's so dramatic. You know what your biggest mistake so far has so far has been, Mr. Lawyer. It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Lol. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. What? Tomorrow will be a day to remember I, look at me, will take the stand. Uh, yeah. And that means what exactly? And then, Svari! My testimony will prove to be the undoing of a lot of you. The undoing of a lot of a lot to you? What? Yes, all of you. I will unma unmask you as the thieves' co-conspirators. Is he hallucinating? You're quick on the defensive. I see. However, it is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are, how who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godot. Godot? 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 Who's Godot? I won't know. Godot. Godot. You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. Okay. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Godot? 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 Godogi? T is silent. I try. Godot. Hey, last time I checked, no one. No one knows for sure that Mr. Delight really is the mask. My dear lady, time is may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Oh, he this is he likes throwing out things. Go do. Oh, go do. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have we have look at look at me and go do. Oh, this is crazy cool. Go do. Who is this go do person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Go do the prosecutor whose e whose equal cannot be found in this country, but in heaven. Go do is a legend or myth. Men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chances to simply meet him. Prosecutor Go do. But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Go do. It's Mr. Edgeworth, isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But ace prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling aboard. Abroad. Mr. Wedgeworth. In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godu as the best in this country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke Edgeme. No, no, no. The do is the same as go, go do, go do, go do. I try. If I butcher it, it's okay. It's only name. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this go do really that strong? 
Okay, go do. Go do. <laughs> go do. Go do. I I don't know. I sorry. I, if I butcher it, I. I, I you know I, I raise my hands in, in fear for you that for all of you who know how to pronounce like names but for me it's like so hard it, it's it's hard for me to pronounce normal words so don't expect me to get like names right I do I try my best and thanks for the help I appreciate that I try but I will butcher it <laughs> hmm I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising, some people spend their entire lives idly wa waiting for his appearance. It looks like we're uh, done investigating for today. The lawyer. The stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. I don't know what in this bag is. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor. An ace detective and a thief. This will this will be one tough trial, <laughs> or a good one. So we have a new prosecutor too. Oh yeah, this is cool. Waiting for Godu. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. Let's see. Again, I have a smooth brain, I don't know. Hey Nick, what is it? Is something wrong? Ah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy. Oh, so check out the mask de mask glossy I Glossy I brought. Bought. I bought this. You bought this where? From the little tents in front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. What is this? Has a very be deep backstory. Okay, interesting. You know, I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I should have masked the mask. Striking a pose. Jo, Jo! Come on! I'm guilty. Throw the book at me. Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it. Yeah, I did. But it doesn't look like things are going, going to get any less ugly for you. Because I did it. I'm the criminal. Me, me, me. Uh, he's at it again. I sent the calling card to Lordy to, to Lordly Taylor. I admit it. But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true. But that doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally, when I say, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic. But you, yikes. Don't talk about that? Yeah, don't talk about that. About what? We don't talk here. Who is talking? Is someone talking? In my chat room? You better shush. If I see you talking... Nobody's talking here, okay? Good. Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty, so make sure they give me a guilty verdict, please! Oh, there are you, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, Desi, honey. Bonjour. Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at times like this. Leave it all to me, Ronnie. I swear, I protect you. Hmm. Uh, well, uh, you see, actually, the thief is over me. Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I can guarantee, I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he is declared guilty, I'll be, I'll be ever so cross with you. Why are you smiling when you say it? Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nikki boy. Good luck. Ah, she's so mysterious. To be honest, I really don't know what, what, what. Whether Ron is mask de mask or not, but there's only one thing I am sure of: he doesn't have the sacred urn right now. 
The delight. It's time for you to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I have to trust Desiree. Huh. I'm interested in this case. I really am interested in this case. October 13. Ooh, who's that? He has like a... Like a... Like a glasses thing? Like a helmet? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. Defense is ready, your honor. Oh, he's like a cyborg! This is so cool! He has infrared viewing and all shit! Yeah, this is so cool! What about the prosecution? Are you prepared to? What a stupid question. What did you say? Fine, let me ask you then, your honor. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you ready to pass judgment? No, no, I am not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't accept others to be. What? That's a rule to live by. Uh, who are you? I am Godal. Go do. Go do? Legendary prosecutor. I've never lost a case. Oh, you know. <laughs> we have so many people by now. We have so many people by now that said this. <laughs> they haven't lost a case. Yeah, you know, like legendary. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh, I guess I crushed his dreams to her today. Ah, <laughs> uh, he is the one that Detective Atme was talking about. Yes, your reputation pre precedes you. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Ah, uh, none. Oh! He's actually a human, not a cyborg. You know. When I say he is a cyborg, and you come into my room, in my chat room, your, rea your reality shifts, okay? And you're under my rule set here? He is a cyborg now. It's obvious, right? So, he is a cyborg. You, I said it, you heard it, and your, now your reality, you know, shifts to the real reality. Okay, huh? Uh, so he's a legendary prosecutor. He he has never lost a case because he never had a case. What did you say? Oh, uh, you don't need to spoil me things again. If I don't know stuff, please like if you if you are super mighty and know all this crap about the game and backstories and and and, and, and shit. Yeah, it's cool, and you're clearly better than me. I guess it's it's cool by me, but again, I don't know this shit, so I I'm making shit shit up to make this like a little bit interesting. But we can go for the facts. Let me let me okay let, let me do this. I'll, okay, let, let's let's do this. Let let's do this. Okay, I I, I go to Vicky now. Do 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 go do go go do. Um, character. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh, I haven't. Go do was origi or originally another man. I will not spoil it here because I spoiled myself now. A, s a senior defense lawyer working somewhere. Again, I will not spoil it. He had spiky black hair, I guess. So he was found to referring to woman, I guess. And he has other stuff. I will not spoil, but I spoiled myself now. So um, this is good. So we can talk facts, so we can enjoy, like enjoy my shit. Oh damn it! Thanks, David, for the. Thanks. Again, I appreciate. I don't know. I, I can't Be because I don't know the character. I don't know shit. Make if if people make something up, or if they want to joke with me because I am joking about these characters. But this was a serious thing. So, thank you. I appreciate, you know, I hate spoilers so much. Why would you ruin someone's experience with this? Well, let me like, let me and let me discover this character and let me enjoy him. I don't know him. Why should I know him? He's new. Do you want to talk about at me or other characters too? Like maybe, I guess. 
I guess, you know, I guess um, some character that we met already in this case is the real killer. Or, you know, the real thief, I guess. So maybe we should talk about this now because I am a baby smooth brain who doesn't know things. Duh, why don't I know game when I never played game? Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> For real? Like, why? <laughs> this is no... No, why? This is... I enjoy this. I... The last case was really hard for not the last case the, f the last case of the last game was hard for me because they recycled characters and you know because i had facts about these characters i, wa I was like not satisfied how the story was and now we have all these new for me interesting characters because i never saw them before and i'm so hyped and if i like see like a detail like his like i don't know glasses i guess um I'm like, I'm like so hyped to know more about it, but I want the game to tell me. I want the game to tell me, and I want you to enjoy my stupid face when I realize what's going on, right? You all are here because I don't know. If I, if I would know everything about everything I do in on this channel, you guys would be bored. And you want to see the surprise in my face, am I right? You want to see my surprise baby face, right? Yeah. You want to see my fucking surprise baby face? Look at this! I I enjoy this! Let's enjoy it together! No bad blood here! Come on! Let's enjoy this shit! And if I make shit up... The game will... Clear, clear this up for us. I've never prosecuted a case before. Huh. Never. But you said you were never lost before. Exactly. I've never lost. I've never won before either. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> he is legendary. Oh yeah, I'm a I'm a legendary policeman too. Try quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of redwoods begin their lives as a mere sapling. So he's convinced that he will be a good uh but yes, but a mask in a court of law? Ha! Huh. Don't you know anything? No matter the man, we all wear masks. Ooh! Either on our faces or over our heart. He's so deep! He's so deep! Oh, he's so deep! He's masked the mask. For real, he, he has a mask! <laughs> oh, he's so deep! Like, oh! Give me the chills, dude! It's like my. My 13 year old, like, emo brain. Ah, so deep. This pleases my soul. Let's go. This guy is the real deal, right, Nick? He's, he's Edgeworth's boyfriend? Ah. Shush, you shush now. You shush. You all shush. Why does it seem like all prosecutors are the real deal? I hope yeah. I hope when I like read the the little thing the, where I ruined, so I ruined my experience for this character for you for your guys' sake. By the way, um, I hope I didn't ruin your uh day with this because even though I I didn't talked about it, but I, I I read like portions of it. So I hope I hope I saved it for you. So we finally met Mr. Phoenix. Tried heh, <laughs> what? Nick. Is he a friend of yours? No, I don't have any friends that call me Trite. Just who is this mask man? I've returned from the depth of hell. I like his I like it. Is is this is is this his seam? I like it. To do battle with you. Well then, our prosecutor Gobo. <laughs> it's not Gobo, it's Godo, your honor. In any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement. Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. I have only I have only one thing to say before we start to you, Mr. Trite. What is it? Are you familiar with the saying a chain is only as strong as its weakest ink link? I wonder. How much? 
how much you can withstand before you and your case breaks in two. Hmm. Go do is yours. <laughs> okay. Hmm, well then, let's hear from the first witness. Ah, my favorite first witness. Ah, my name is... No one has asked for your name, witness. Uh... The important thing is what you know, that's all. Start talking, we're listening. Yes, sir. Alright, witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the urn. Yes, sir. Again. Thanks for being like calm about this. I don't know. I don't, I I I was not sure how to react uh, how to react to this to this thing. I was like, you know, I was making shit up and I was in a really good mood. So I'm like, I have no idea. If I if I if I, if I hurt someone's feelings, I am not apologizing because I guess it is deserved. But <laughs> again, I think that all of you were calm about it. I guess David spoke up. It's good to speak up, by the way. So. Yeah, it, it's it's good to speak up. If you if you if you know something that I can obviously not know, but you know it's like you know spoily stuff and all that. Yeah, please please protect the please protect the spoiler free zone for like story games and all that. I really appreciate that. So thanks again, David, because uh, you know I I didn't know what, how to act. I didn't know how to act. So and, and and thanks to all of you to endure that and endure my my explanation. Again, I'm like um, not good at words and explaining in English, so I try my very best, and I try to very best to make this place something spe something special, and I need your help, obviously, to do so. So thanks again. Let's go. Mask de Mask is master is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. Okay. He's so confident that he sends his calling card before he even commits the crime. This was his fifth heist, and he usual and as usual he sent a card on, on to Lord Lee's tailor. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art piece. That's why we're sure it was Mask the Mask, sir. It fits is it fits his motive operandi operandi to a T. Hmm. So then the actual uh, in identity of this mask, the mask is Mr. Go Godu. What are you? <laughs> what? He, he teleported coffee. He, he, he like, uh, how was the spell from freaking like, uh, the, the, the spell from Harry Potter? Uh, to like make things appear? Akio, he like Akio freaking coffee. He he he, he, he Akio the freaking coffee mark. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is awesome. We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godu. Blacker than the moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. Oh, can we? Can we? I I, I try to screenshot this. I need to screenshot this. Let me. Let me. <laughs> I need I need that in my life, dude. I I don't drink coffee, but this is a good one. God damn it, I enjoy this so much right now. Let's let's um one second. One second. I I'm 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 right here for you. I'm I'm listening. This is such a good what what is this character, dude? Good. Let's continue. <laughs> I'm sure you can grant me. At least this much, your honor. Oh, please proceed. Very well, it's only coffee after all. What? You can be letting him slide this easily, uh, early in the trial. Proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Well, Nick, what are you going to do? As long as they ha uh, haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity, all we can do is show that it wasn't Mask D. Mask who stole the urn. Huh, yeah, this is a good move. I guess we're pressing everything first and then... Let's make a second save. Have you been involved in the investigation from the beginning? 
Yep, nobody knows more about the thief than me, pal. It's true, I am. I'm the very author of on thieves. An author? Oh. He's writing books about thieves? Uh, I think he probably means to say authority. The fact that this guy can slip through even my fingers shows how good he is, pal. Easy, it's easy when those fingers happen to be butterfingers. <laughs> so nobody knows more about the thief than you, huh? Got it, pal. Except maybe for the thief's mom, that is. But isn't there someone who knows even more about him than the police? You don't mean Detective Zva Zvari, do you? Hmm, who is this person? Zvari? Sounds German. What? We never put like a Z in front of a V. Never. In any word, I guess. I never saw this in my life. He sounds German? No. His name is Luke Etme, sir. I guess I shouldn't have made up such a silly name for him. The heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyway, it's true that he didn't that he did manage to retrieve the last item the thief stole. Oh, I see. It seems you were not the expert you claim to be. It looks like the thief is toying with me even now. Have you seen all of these so-called calling cards? Of course I have. Except... The person in charge of the tr treasure exhibit never brought their card to the police. So I didn't see this one until after the crime occurred. That's because Detective Atme stopped Miss Andrews from taking it to the police. Was the calling card that Lordy Taylor received authentic? Well, all the cards have one common identifying feature, but we are not releasing that information to the general public. But you're absolutely certain that this card is real. Gamshu can't say it out loud, but I bet he's talking about Mask Demask's emblem. This was his fifth heist, and, heist, and a usual, as you and as usual, he sent a card on. Uh, oh, oh, oh. His fifth thighs, and your fifth screw up, huh? Objection, pal! That ain't fair. Maybe you uh, could say I screwed up four times, but this last time wasn't my fault. I didn't know about the calling card this time. You of all people shouldn't be chuckling about this, Detective Gumshoe. I just want everyone here in the courtroom to know to know something. If you ever get a calling card from this guy, don't call some stupid private eye. Call your local police right away. Got me? Yeah, he's right. He's right, though. Oh, it looks like he's really got it. Got it in for Detective at me. But he's right, though. Art pieces? Like what, for example? Well, his first target was the famous Tear of Amenum. What's that? Some kind of especially salty teardrop? N no, sir. It's a blue diamond. A single rare diamond. Next was the crown of Bongora, you know, the thing you put on your head. After that, after that was the left hand of Hades, of Hades, wow. And then the port portrait of Ma Magina, the left hand of Hades? He, 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 he stole that? And now like, Hades has only a right hand man or what? Only his right hand man is left. Detective Atme retrieved the portrait and returned it to the museum. Hmm. And the target of his fifth and last robbery was the sacred urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assume he must have some underworld connections. Somehow Mr. Delight doesn't look the type. Yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in, in the underworld. What do you mean when you say it fits his motive operandi to the to a T? I was thinking to ask the same thing myself. Uh, I wish that you would listen 
a little more closely, pal. First of all, there, there's the calling card. We're 100% certain it's authentic. Then there's the fact that he seemed to know all about the security system. And finally, his target was an art piece. Uh, these are all part of the thief's modus operandi. And so, since this rob robbery seems to fit all those conditions, that's right. It means that Mask Demask is behind it. Nick, it definitely looked like it was Mask Demask who stole the urn, but there is no real evidence either way as to whatever Ron Delight is Mask Demask. But, but, although the urn hasn't turned up yet, yet alone in connection to Mr. Delight himself. So even though we know it, it was Mask Demask that did it, maybe for the time being, I should try to show it to show it wasn't Mask the Mask that it did it. Okay. But how? Oh, I can like... Let's see. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. It fits. It's fit. It fits. Huh. So we have to contradict something here, but I don't know what. Confusion. I don't know what to do. See a contradiction in this. Hey, Blocky. It's going good. Hope you had like good holidays. Oh, good holiday days. I'm like sitting here and I am not sure why and what I have to say to Mr. Gumshoe here because I don't have clues and I don't. I pressed everything twice now, so I'm a little bit. I'm in a little bit of a, you know hide spot here. I don't know what the game wants from me. So, I am clueless, but I will get behind it, I hope. All you were, were great. What are my thoughts? Oh yeah, good question. Because I have to think about this, I can like think about this and talk about other, other, other stuff. So far the game was great. Uh, again, I never played it before. 
Um, I only saw like, you know, bits and pieces because because memes these days. Um, music is good. I like the overall like acting. What I don't like is they recycle characters very often. Mm. Um, but I have a great time so far with it. My my weak point was the last case from game two. Uh, because of many reasons I will not again talk about. But other than that, this, this game is great so far. This is like the last game of the trilogy. First case was okay because it was like Phoenix Past, I guess. And this is like interesting because it had all it, it, had, it has all these interesting characters in it that I can't wait to know more about. So less recycling. This is good. I don't know what I should s show. I don't know what I should show. Oh. Oh yeah, this yeah I yeah I can I can see that I can see the cartridge storage yeah. Compare the evidence yeah I try thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good reason you know yeah I, I never thought about this I I only see this as like I play it on PC so it's the Steam version of it so I you know I don't I, I never like have this in mind but yes it's a it's an originally. Uh, Nintendo DS and Nintendo Advance game, huh? So, I guess. But I can't, like... I don't know. I can't, like, think about why this game should be so big. In, like, space. I guess it's only a few... Uh, let's see. It's only a few text boxes? And, uh, you know, few scenes? I feel like, I don't know, like a game like... The Sprites? I don't. I, I don't know if if these are sprites. I guess these are like gifs. So only moved. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Oh. Move pictures, I guess. But I guess, yeah, I guess if you if you say, if you say it like this, I guess this whole game is a cutscene then, right? For like the cartridge. Huh. Ah, huh, maybe. There's sheets. Okay, yeah. So I. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's like a, it's, it's like a cutscene, huh? Oh, the, the entire time. On the DS. On on the and and, and on the GBA especially, huh? Huh. Oh. I don't know what I do here. Can you like? Can can someone hint me? It's about the value it's taken. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So it is the value, huh? So... Oh! But I guess we're not talking about this right now? But let's see. So we have this photo. Oh! Yeah, I... Oh, I, I saw this! Sorry, I saw this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw this. I, I, I thought about this picture and was like... Yo! The dude has not this... He has not the same, exact same clothing on. Ah. Yeah, but we could. I, my my girlfriend said something very interesting here. Uh, his pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. And um. 
I guess we learned that the urn, yeah, has no monetary value. Oh, it's it's oh oh we we updated this urn. I I missed it. Oh, I was so clueless. This is what I missed. Thank you. Yeah, like this is no, nothing worth. Like, <laughs> like 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 a lump of clay brought into like a form. Huh? Can I ask you a little? Can I ask you a little something? Thank you, Detective Gumshoe. Just hearing the little in the question is making me nervous. You said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. Slap table and super confidence. The supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly raise to the level of precious art. What do you mean? Nick, how can you say such terrible things? Sorry. You found this case tricky? Oh yeah, I hope it's, it's tricky. I'm super interested in this because the first thing was like we saw Andrian Andrews and she suffered in the in the last case of chapter of, of game two so much and I was like oh no please don't kill her or something like this and I hope there is no murder in this case involved so I hope this is like a clear thievery case please don't spoil me and yeah, it's interesting, and so yeah, I hope it's tricky. Like, I I feel like this is like a uh, Kaito Kit or a uh, Lupin, uh, you know, or Arsen, Arsen Lupin like thing. I like this, like a, a thief thing. It's cool. Hasn't even been broken once. <laughs> It has some kind of value. No, it's not an historical artifact. No, this is not true. This is not true. Um, if it is an historical artifact, it would be found by, I don't know, by ar arcology or something like this. <laughs> but this is like... Like, if I have, like, a, a plate, a very neat plate, and I give it, like, to my children, and they give it to their children, and they give it to their children, it's still, like, only a plate, right? It's not, it, 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 it's not something with, like, I don't know, super value for other people. <laughs> no, I mean, from, from, the, from a financial point of view, I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. What's your favorite case? Oh, this is a good question. My favorite case so far was... Oh. Uh, um, I like the special case in game one. When we when we had Edgeworth as the defendant. It was a good case. Everything in this case was super good and I like that we had to defend like Edgeworth. This was great. Um and then mm -hmm. Yeah the Gant case was good. Yeah the Gant was great too. But it this was the... This was the case, right? Oh no, this was the... This was the... Uh, with the, pro with the prosecutor, yeah, the Blue Badger case. Yeah, this was a good one, yeah. This was a good one too. Yeah, yeah, these these two was were good. Like, the the fourth case and the fifth case from the first game, they, they, were, they were fantastic. Fantastic in every way. Well, Prosecutor Godo, what is the value of that urn? The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it, and I mean that in, a ver in the worst sense. So in other words, it, has n it was not the kind of item that Mask and Mask would normally go after. Oh yeah, we have a Gandhi mode on Discord. Yo, I, I can't, can I pull it up somehow? Let's see. I can like I, I can like do this. Second. Uh, let's go in the showcase. No. Let's go here. No, let's not go here. This is like. Let's go here. This is like an innocent. This is like an innocent thing. Yeah. Look at look at this Gandhi mode. Let's see. Oh, it's game. It's still game. You sure game? Where's my freaking? Ah, oh, here we go. There is it. 
if, if you would have said big top was your favorite oh yo the big top the big top was the best from from ah, there it is the big top is the best case of um of of the of the second one i don't know why people don't like it though i heard like so many people don't like it yo guy fox welcome to freaking discord Oh yeah. Why 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 do everybody hate the freaking big top case? The big top case was good. Like I guess people don't like it when there is no real evil doer. I I I, I this was fantastic. I was in tears when the freaking like Acro said he didn't uh he didn't want to like he didn't want to kill him and he was like crying and then he was sorry. Oh, this was like it, it 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 broke me dude it broke me it was so good like again the, the clown humor thing was you know mm, not mine but the case itself was good if i understand you correctly mr right you're saying that the theft of the sacred urn was not the work of mask the mask yes that's what i'm what i'm saying actually all i did was pointing out the contradiction the argument made itself but well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Mask Demask or not? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was an overall... There was, again, I didn't like the last case from the last game, but after I played it until the end i was like yeah this was a good case you know the 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 middle part this like stalling for time thing was like uh, uh, they you know they had like they, they should have like i don't know make time skips or something like this in this part to make it interesting because again the mystery itself was solved so it was not that interesting for me um yeah so so far, I don't have like complaints at all about this game. It's a very strong series, I guess. Capcom, it's Capcom, right? Yeah, Capcom did good again. What do you have to say about this, Mr. Godu? Nice, like, mm, coffee. Mm. <laughs> yes, this coffee here. Oh, it's my own special blend. I call it Godu, number one hundred and seven. Akio at this coffee. I'm trying to decide. Why is this such a seducive like? I'm trying to decide. Or whatever the cut uh, to cut down to the ac acidity or the bitterness. That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now, Mr. Trite. Why? Did you see the miracle never happen? Oh, uh, no. I don't know what it is. Maybe, I don't know, like, I'm a German dude, maybe it's like called... different than German? So I, I don't know, no. I, I, I say no for now. Because it doesn't ring a bell. What? If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. Stop with the music. If you're saying it wasn't Mask Demask that stole the urn, then it must be someone I in imitating Mask Demask's methods. A fake. A fake Demask? Fake Demask. That sounds so ridiculous, but I like it. Oh, uh, no, I didn't see that. I... let's see. Mm-mm. No, I didn't see that. I don't know what the, like, the, 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 the bad ending is, but I, I pleaded him not, I pleaded him guilty. Uh, I, and I pleaded him guilty hard. So, first there was this, like, thought process of if I should give him guilty or not, I give guilty and, and, and then I, you know, I, I, I did the guilty thing, I guess, so, nope. Now, before I decide on my coffee, I believe some proof is an order, Mr. Tri. 
proof that the why do you do i should should i like give you more coffee now what is this post dude proof that the person who appeared at lordy taylor that night was actually a fake hmm thought i don't approve uh of mr go dude's go go do's behavior his point is valid Mr. Wright, we're waiting. It looks like I'm going to have to prove it. I need proof that the person at Lordy Taylor that night was in fact fake Dimas. So I guess we're going for the security camera now. Or for the blackmail. No, 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 the blackmail letter is not good, so... Let's go for this. The proof is right here. This looks like a photo taken by the security camera. But if you look closely, you notice something particular about it. Thank you, guy, for pointing that out before. It was not, you know, the solution for the first thing, but it was a good hint. It was a good hint. Because it keeps me thinking and re re and re reread my court record thingies ah well then why don't you go ahead and show us what it is go on use this pointer beep, 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 beep. it's right here of course you mean mask the mask i have here a piece of re reference i would like the court to take a look at isn't that the pl a publicity photo I, I, I brought this morning? The problem I have with the security camera photo is the brush. Brush? Brush? Is it, is it what it's called? On the mask's chest. I know what it is, but I don't know how to call it. Uh, you know, a, a, a brush? Br breach? 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 I have to call I have to look this up. God damn it. To, you know, spelling. Breach. Breach? Yeah, okay. Breach. I take breach. Here, Bailiff. Get my steed. We need to retreat at once. A brooch. Oh, I, I, a, a brooch. Bro, bro, brooch? I hate, I hate this. I want to know. Brooch. 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 Bro brooch, brooch, a brooch, your honor. It's a sort of a uh, clasp for holding one's cape on. A clasp. Ah, ah, I see now. But the mask, the mask in the security camera photo. Ah, he has no brooch, brooch. That brooch is the same as the emblem on the mask's calling card and serves as his symbol. But the thief that broke into Lordy's tailor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, it, this mask, the mask, is a fake. Yo, welcome to the pyramid. Thanks for the follow. I read this. Thank you so much. Welcome to the pyramid. Hope you enjoy your, I don't know, place here. <laughs> I've been fooled again. Hope you like our little pyramid. Order! It's true! Undeniably true! Detective Gamshu? How, how could you have overlooked this? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I'm... Huh! He accio another coffee! What is this wizardry? Stop with the Akio. Hey, now. This is a song now. If you're gonna have a pity party, invite me too. Let's go to... You deserve some blame in this, too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Brooch? Ha! The brooch you're talking about. Do you mean this? Why is he like... Do you mean... This? Ah! That's Mask de Max brooch. Brooch. Where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. 
I got it at the crime scene. You'll see how many later. Oh no, he's like he's like swollen from coffee con from, from the coffee. He's like Ooh. <laughs> help. It was hidden in the shadow of a big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue. He must mean the Amy Faye statue. Why don't you tell me about that, sir? Why didn't you? I always put evidence. I always put evidence away in my pocket. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. Your pockets? Ah, this guy is one cool customer. Another Akio. Can we like, can we like stop this card? Because he is clearly a wizard and I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want that. I don't want a wizard like in my courtroom. This makes me, I, I, you know, I'm afraid of him now. It's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little lady? I don't know how early it is really because you're drinking like so much coffee. That friend of yours left pretty little tickets on there too. Pretty legal tickets. Tickets? Tickies? Tickies? Figuratively speaking, of course, I'm referring to Ron. The Ron delights fingerprinties. Oh no. What? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch. Why? Order. Order in the court. Mr. Godu, let's see the brooch. I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Take good care of her. Hmm. She, I mean, it appears to have been torn off some clothing. There is a little bit of cloth left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Oh, Phoenix, we have a problem. Found in the shadow of Amy Faye's statue, looks like it was torn off some clothing. Okay. Ah, you mess with Godot? You mess with the you mess with coffee and you get burned. Okay. Uh, he's been playing me like a violin. Don't 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 <laughs> don't. Well, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Good. Huh? Done with me? But I haven't proved proved anything yet. You've proven your own in incompetency, in incompetence. That's good enough. Sorry. That doesn't sound good at all. Bailiff, bring the next witness into the courtroom. Finally, time for the ace detective to make his experience, huh? Oh yeah, he is here now. Good. One second is one drip of... One second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry it up. Shh! Silence! Now I see. It's all becoming clear. What's clear? Zavari! The truth has come again! By elegantly revealed... Been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is... A judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac at, at that. Oh yeah, good, you know... He has a, you know, nose for... The truth, I guess. Hello! Hello! Hello, Taya! Good to see you here. Good to see you here. I missed you. You missed a lot. Am I correct? Well, yes, that's right. Ha, not bad. Not bad at all. You're the first person that ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. Should we nine Nine. Nine. No. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> well, sir, prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Ketney, ace detective and raising star illuminating the heavens. Hey, but where, where, where are you before that? You, you, do you have an alibi? Do you have an alibi for your, you know, be, be not here-ness? How did he know go 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 to last coffee? I have no idea. He's like a he's like a super brain. 
Boy, these two make make a perfect pair. They either be best friends or they tear each other's hands off. I've heard that on the night of the crime you were all alone on security detail. You have heard correctly. My spe my specially made monocle is worn more than a hundred detective is worth more than a hundred detective gumshoes. If Detective Gumshoe was worth anything, that is. Hm. Why was this guy all by himself, anyway? There must be some reason, I'm sure of it. You have two witnesses? Witnesses for what? What did you do? And why do you, ha why do you have witnesses while you're doing it? And if, if your witnesses are cats... <laughs> hey, bad. Nice to see you around. Well then, tell us what th this special monocle of yours witnessed. With the witnesses, it? Do you want coffee? <laughs> what a coffee! I was approximately. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Mask Demast, a dancingly descended, descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, I was alone and naked. He was alone and naked. 30 minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. 30 minutes later? 30 minutes after he awake again? What? Why do you need 30 minutes, my dude? So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal. Huh. And you choose to be silent? Ooh. Ooh. Kinky Christmas over there, huh? Yeah, why wait 30 minutes? Yeah, I mean you get you are awake. I don't know. Maybe you are in pain before because you know you you realize that you were struck on the head and you passed out. Why wait for freaking 30 minutes? You haven't been posting memes for about 10 minutes and memes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! This is good, by the way. This is good. I will, I will look, I will look through the freaking like Phoenix Wright memes after stream. Oh yeah, I'm looking. I'm like scrolling a little bit, and I'm like super in. I, I'm super into that. Yes. Yeah. I like this. I, I, I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked, and I. F this is cool. My specially made monocle never misses a thing, however, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. But of course, that's only natural. Okay, good. I fail to see why the witness seems to so proud of his performance that evening. Well, Sir Old Timer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any or of, of any ordinary thief, but of the king of thieves, the great mask Dimas. Mask, my arch enemy. An arch enemy. That is what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. Hmm, very well. Proceed with the cross examination, Mr. Wright. What I witnessed. It was approximately one o'clock. Yeah, 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 we know that. I, I save and I press the sh. I, I, I press the, uh, you know, the monocle out of you. <laughs> what would, would be one o'clock? So what, so what would be one o'clock on the morning of the 12th, correct? So that would be, sorry. That's an impressive deduction, Sir Lawyer. You were on security duty that night. Where exactly were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Near the computer, huh? So then... So then you weren't trying to remain hidden, I take it. Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. 
Okay, said the same thing yesterday too. Gumshoe also said that they have never spotted the thief at the crime scene before. Precisely. That is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. I knew that by not concealing myself, I would be putting pressure on the thief. Looks like the thief was the one ap a applying pressure on your pigeon... Pige pigeony? Yeah, pigeony head, that is. Sorry. In any case... In any case, that's when my nemesis... Oh yeah, yeah, okay, let's go. Dancing the Defendant. From where exactly? Well, from the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone please save me. Uh, so how is it that you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking for the thief's shadow while my ears listened to his footfalls. But even so, the distortly criminal managed to sneak up on me. It can only be due to his sub... 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 subtly? Sorry, subtly camouflaged cape and soft soled shoes. I hereby dub you Ace Dunes. Ace Dunes? I'm like, you know, I guess I have. I, I take my break shortly because I butcher more and more and more words, and I apologize. Subtly, subtly. Thank you. Again, this is something I can't know, right? Right? You didn't. Thank you so much. You didn't see the criminal's face when that happened. Well, that's the different part. That's the different difficult part. How should I put it? I saw his mask, that's all that I can recall. Hmm, that's not very solid as far as testimony goes. However, however, fortunately I had my third monocle, the security camera, at the ready. It captured his image perfectly. This should be uh, sufficient, I believe. No, it's not. Hmm, well, as long as this photo is authentic, I don't see a problem here. Well, Mr. Godu? We have a problem with this photo. More coffee. Good. Then let's continue with the testimony. Attack did not unconsciousness. Unconscious. And you weren't able to do a thing. That's certainly some very impressive detective work. <clears throat> well, sir lawyer. Have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Huh? Well, actually, yes, by a fire extinguisher. And what happened? I was knocked out. And you lost your memory, too. You see? You have no right to look down on me, then, do you? The only reason I didn't lose my memory was because I have more brain to begin with. Wow! <laughs> the burn, dude! Oh, my baby brain! My baby brain hurts now! He may have brains, but the wiring for the self-refraction part seems to be severed. Severed. In any case, that was how I I was knocked senseless, and then... 30 minutes later, about this 30 minutes, my silver cord was loosened and my soul fleed through the golden halls of Elysium. As usual, I have no idea what this guy is saying. I think he's saying that he was out cold. So what happened during these 30 minutes? No one, say no one can say, Your Honor. That span of time was truly vanished into the ether. Just what is he going to going on about? There's something suspicious about Detective Batney. How could he not have noticed when the thief came in? Although, although he says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. But that can't be right. It contradicts it contradicts the evidence. Huh? Which piece? The real question is, why would he tell such an obvious lie? An obvious lie? Oh, I don't know about obvious lies here. Am I stupid again?
Oh, yeah. This was be before 1 a.m., huh? Let's. I, I guess I, I show the freaking picture right here, right now. Yeah, I guess. I guess this is the right, like. No? No? What? Are you stupid? Am I stupid? Someone is stupid. It was it, it was the right picture picture, right? It was. That it's the same thing? Ah, because you know, one o'clock and like two minutes before. Yeah, nitpicking. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I see. Yeah, 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 maybe. I mean, the, the, this shows that he was like going out with the freaking thing. Um. He was. He was already. He was. Oh, he, he, he was not already inside, right? I don't know. Huh! Oh, it was the freaking fight back, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was the fight back, huh? I guess this is uh, this is the fight back thing. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mister Atme, could you take a look at this with with the special monocle of yours? Ah, this belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis, Mask Demask. It is, in point of fact, Mask Demask Bruce. It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Ha! Huh, elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off. A piece of clothing. Ripped off. Ah! We can only deduct that the thief struggled with someone that night. That's the only thing I can think of. And there's only one person that was in the position to have a struggle with the sea. The only person that was on security duty that night. You, Detective Vatme. Detective Vatme, you must have fought with the thief that night. So, why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness, giving false testimony is a serious crime. I know. Wait just a moment, sir. wait just a moment, sir, old timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living in the in a nerthing in, in the nerthing home. I just remembered, Your Honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. He's lying. The true measure of a man is the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, you can only handle one case at a time, isn't that right? Talk too much! You shush now! Witness! So are you now saying that you and the thief fought? Hold on! That's quite enough, your honor. Excuse me? <gasps> he accused another mark of coffee! No! He, 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 no! He can't do that! This freaking magician! Stop! Again, like, this makes me nervous. Save the big- and who's like, you know, where's this coffee come from? Hogwarts? If he's lying, shouldn't Psyclops appear? Uh, No. Psyclops only appear when people refuse to talk about things, right? 
when they refuse and th when they want to refuse to talk about it but he's like only is telling something and i'm not asking something that he wants to hide then right this is the explanation for the freaking psychologs right 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 i guess i or maybe it's like a you know a gameplay thing hmm. save the big questions for the testimony that's one of my rules indeed i understand i look at me agree completely fight with the thief so i will give you this brief moment to think about what you've done to me so far and i will do a little break maybe you stretch too i will be right back and hey if you're new here thanks for hanging around i appreciate that and i appreciate you making time for me butchering all the words